Hold up. Hey guys, Bone Marion Gamer here, and today I am going to show you how to make your own springtail cultures. I know that's backwards, but it's my starting culture. Um, what you're going to need for this is what? Well, what I use is uh, lump wood charcoal. So it comes. What I got right here it comes in a bag, a whole bunch of charcoal wood charcoal chunks. Um, they are pretty big chunks, so you might have to, might have to smash them up with a hammer. Um, so I did that a little while ago, however, still got some pretty big chunks, but, so, container, uh, I use the dollar store containers, they're pretty easy. You're going to need tight fitting lids, so these lids will fit tightly on top of that. And you're going to need some purified water. You don't want like, you know, chlorine water getting into the springtails. It'll kill them. Get down, cat. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some of this wood lump charcoal. I'm going to try and take some of the smaller pieces and just set them in here. Gonna get your hands pretty dirty, so definitely wanna yeah, look at that. Look at that. Um, you can use regular charcoal. Um, other things you can use as a meat as like a medium for them. I just think that lump charcoal is probably the easiest to get and the cheapest out of all of them. So get a few more little pieces in here. Alright, so pretty much got it kind of full up with the wood charcoal. So I'm going to wash my hands real quick, just right here. Da 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 da. Get some of this charcoal off my hands. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use purified water because these containers aren't that huge I'm going to do probably about a half an inch of water Look at that. It wasn't a full bottle, but I used all of it, so just going to get some of that going. Now, I bought special food online for them. Um, however, you can pretty much just use long grain rice. Uh, that seems to be the best thing for them just long grain rice it'll get mold on it they'll get happy they'll eat all the mold so the reason springtails are so good for terrariums is because they like to eat the mold they like to eat the algae they like to eat all of that stuff that's really hard to get inside get cleaned inside of a terrarium especially since um uh, I'm gonna, you know, you don't want to put your hand in there, especially with 
potentially dangerous animals, insects. So with them in there, they will eat all of the mold, bacteria, all that stuff. So we don't have to worry about cleaning it. I know, great little guys. So, there's a few ways you can get these into this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill this up with a little bit more water. And I'm going to dump them into one of their three new homes. So, get some water. Fill it up with water a little bit more. So, springtails float. So they're just going to be the very top. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm just going to pour them to this one. Got a little bit more going on over here. So we got we got some in there. Watch them jump over to this one. There we go. Now this one over here. There we go. Alright, so we got quite a bit in each. I'm going to double check, I'm going to look. We got quite a few. I'm going to add a little bit more. A bit more, so my main culture still has quite a few in there. And now I got three more starting. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now that I got them started, I'm going to get some, some of that food I bought online. Like I said, you can use just regular long grain rice. You don't got to get this special stuff. I was just uh, trying to make sure I gave them the best they could possibly have. And now I'm going to put the lids on. This way that that mold can start to grow since it's all nice and nice and humid. And in about I believe three to four weeks I'll have set up three more springtail cultures. That's pretty much it. Those are really easy to get started. Um, I know a lot of people who, who found some insects who actually eat these, so not only do they need them to clean their terrarium, their home, everything like that, now they gotta breed them in order to feed their insects. So uh, there's always that. Um, well, this has been Culture Corner with Baltimore Ant Gamer, and that is pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, uh, we'll do another video in about a month, updating you guys on these cultures, uh, showing you how much they grew and how much I'm getting out of it. Uh, I got some exciting news coming up in probably a day or two, um, and I'll let you know. Have a good day, guys. Thanks.